Hi there, and welcome to this video on the dentistry interview, focusing on an introduction to the GDC. I'm Alice from Dentist Mind, where we go through the important topics of the dentistry interviews. Whichever university you're applying for, MMI or panel, we've got you covered. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Whilst you're watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything. We've got helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you. The following video is a free sample of our full interview course, which you can buy by clicking on the link below in the description. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson three on dentistry ethics. This time, we're going to be looking at the General Dental Council. So, what is the General Dental Council? Well, the GDC, as it's often shortened to, was established in 1956 and is made up of 13 members. Essentially, it's the governing body for all dental professionals in the UK. So this includes dental nurses, therapists, hygienists, anybody regarded as a dental professional will be regulated by the GDC. So what is the GDC responsible for? Well, they set the standard of conduct for all dental practice in the UK. This is laid out in their nine principles, which all dental professionals are expected to follow. And by following these, it maintains a standard of dental practice for all practices across the country. The GDC also monitor and regulate performance and behavior. This is really important in ensuring all dentists are professional and maintain the standard expected by the GDC. The GDC also investigate complaints and concerns made by the public. So for example, if someone's received poor treatment, and they think it wasn't justified for the dentist to have carried out this treatment in the first place, they might make a complaint to the GDC. And the GDC would then investigate this dentist and see if there's anything that went wrong, for example, through looking through the patient's notes, or if there's any other similar circumstances that have come about from the same dentist. Because if there's enough evidence to suggest that a dentist isn't practicing fairly, then they can get struck off from the GDC register, meaning they can't practice in the UK. So the General Dental Council is entirely funded by the profession, which means all of their money comes from dental practice in the UK. The GDC keeps an up-to-date register of dentists who are qualified and registered to practice dentistry in the country. If a dentist isn't on this register, it means they're practicing dentistry illegally, and therefore that register is there to try and protect the public against this illegal practice. The GDC is also there to act as a bridge of communication between the government, the public and the dentists. And therefore, if there's a concern or something that needs to be raised between these parties, the GDC is there to offer this pathway for communication. So as I mentioned earlier, the GDC lays out these nine principles which they expect all dental professionals to follow. Dental professionals have a responsibility to behave professionally. And by following these principles, it helps with this and also helps to maintain a high standard of practice at all times. These principles help with conduct to make sure that the practice is uh, regulated in a certain way and this is consistent across the country. If dentists don't meet these standards, they can get struck off. And if they're struck off from the register, it means they're no longer legally allowed to practice dentistry in the UK. We will go through these one by one to give you a bit more information about them with an MMI station as well. So that was lesson three and lesson three is now complete. Hopefully this has given you a bit more understanding about the General Dental Council. And if you get asked a question in one of your interviews, you can now have some information to refer to and talk about the GDC and that you understand what they're there for and what they're responsible for and therefore show your interview you've done this research and that will really impress them. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe by clicking below and please leave a comment. Click here to continue watching our interview series and to unlock full access to 70 tutorials covering core interview topics, MMI mocks, top tips and more, click on the link in the description below.